Hey, Mr. Reed, do you smell something? Ooh, clean yourself. Ooh. All right, today's lesson is cleaning yourself, okay? Some things I don't have on the board, but I'll just say it and I'm going to want you to remember. But oh, sometimes, like right now, it's summer in Toronto. It's very, very hot. So people need to wear deodorants. We'll get to that. But you need to clean yourself, people. What do I mean? Well, for you, because you and I, you and I are very good, but maybe you will have to tell somebody else about their smells. Now, there is a lesson on Ingvit about senses. We talk about sniffing and smelling, and you'll understand what that is. So please go look for it, okay? Then you'll go, you'll understand why I went. All right, so clean yourself. Well, what does that mean? Things get dirty. What that means is things come on it, and you need to clean. Like on your computer screen, sometimes there are things and you wipe it and then it looks better. When humans clean themselves, they don't smell or look bad. So let's go to the board and see. So Mr. E, where should we start? Well, how about everyday things? Every day there are some things you should do. Not you, of course. You and I? No. Those other people, right? Okay. So what we do and we know is, first thing we do is, well, I'm a man, so I shave my face. Right? Now, we don't usually say, I shave my face in English. We don't. We say, I shave. First person, I. You shave. Okay? We don't say the other part. We only say the other part when it's part of our bodies. Okay? Because when we look, we always see our face. And when we're not in front of a mirror, we never see our face. But we know it's us. You and me. Okay? The other parts belong to us. But we'll get there in a second. So, I shave, you shave, he shaves. Okay? Now, what else do we do? Well, before I shave, and I'm sure you do, you wash your face. You take some water and clean with some soap. Yeah? You clean it. Then you can shave. Now, if you don't clean your face, bad things happen. You get something on your face, and you have to go... In English, we call that pop a zit. That thing is called a zit, or sometimes people call it a pimple, a pimple, okay? You get a pimple on your face. Squeeze the pimple, pop the zit, okay? So you might have to pop a zit. Now, it's slang, so you don't want to say, hey, I wash today, my face dirty, I go to pop a zit, okay? <laughs> people will go, ooh, you're dirty. Clean yourself. <laughs> this won't happen. Okay, so... This is my face. But what else is on my face? Teeth. We all have teeth. If you want to keep your teeth, I know you want to keep your teeth because you have a beautiful smile. I can see it from here. If you want to keep that, you have to do two things. It will also save you money from the dentist. Number one, you should brush your teeth. Brush them. You know, take a brush. We often use toothpaste, so you need toothpaste and a toothbrush, and I brush. That's the verb we use when we do this, just as wash is what we do for our face. I know it's soap and water, but we would say wash your face, and everyone knows. Soap, water. Brush teeth, this, with toothpaste. Okay, what's the other thing? Not everyone does this, but we also floss our teeth, okay? So you say, I floss. Many times in English, they just say, I flossed, or I'm flossing. We don't say floss teeth because everybody knows you only floss your teeth. So you go, hey, I flossed this morning. I didn't floss this morning. But we do say, I brushed my teeth this morning. You don't say, I brush. People will go, brush what? I don't understand. <laughs> so I brush my teeth, but I floss. Okay, so this one is just, I floss. Now, face and head. Did we forget something? Well, James has no hair. Mr. E has no hair, but sometimes you can brush your hair with a brush, and it looks like this, or comb. Combs look like this. They have teeth. If you have nice hair, you comb your hair. So don't forget to comb your hair after you brush your teeth so you can look pretty. All right? Now, Mr. E was smelling. Well, because the body down here can smell sometimes. And if you go here, you need to take a shower. That means you go underwater, 
and the water comes down like rain. So you say, I need a shower because I don't smell good, or I need a shower so I can feel good. If you have more time, what we do is we take a bath. Sometimes you hear Canadians say, I bathe a lot, or I don't bathe, I take a shower. Bath and bathe are basically the same. Bathing is the action, a bath is the thing. So you take a bath or you bathe, okay? You do not take a bathe. All right, so bathe tonight. I can smell you from here. Oof. Okay, now we talked about shower and bathe, and that's for your body. We've talked about washing our face. Well, we have nails. Wolverine, animal. We have nails like animals. But humans, we're better than animals. We take care of our nails. So what I want to go is here. Our hands and our feet. Our hands, when you cut or clip, notice it says cut, we cut our nails. We have a special tool called a nail clipper. The nail clipper can be used for your fingers or your toes. So you can say, hey, I need a nail clipper to cut my, toe, my toenails or my fingernails. Okay, these things. All right, we do that. You can also call it a manicure. A manicure is when you go to a special place and they do it for you. Because we're rich, we get our fingers done. Please do my fingers. You can get it done on your toes and it's called a pedicure. Pedi comes from foot, pedestrian, foot. Okay, so pedi, foot. Mani for hands, manipulate, hand, man. Okay, so we can cut our fingers and hands to make them look nice. We can also brush our teeth and wash our face. Shave. Remember we said, I shave, you shave, right? We said that. And I said, it's because we have a face and everybody shaves the face. So we don't have to say, I shave my face. It's silly. Well, we also shave other parts of our body. Now, women, women shave their legs. Okay. They got nice legs, nice legs. They shave these things. Oh, I don't know if you can see. See, <clears throat> leg, shave. Okay, just shave it, baby. Woo, it looks nice. So, women shave their legs, so they usually say, I shave. Just like men say, shave face. But some men are like gorillas. <laughs> they have hair on their back, hair on their chest. So they have to say, I shave my back and I shave my chest because I'm a gorilla. <laughs> I have no hair, see? <laughs> anyway, so sometimes you have to shave your back and chest, okay? And Mr. E, he looks so good because he shaves his head. So once again, we say, I shave my head because some men don't have any hair. They are what we call bald. But when you shave your head, it's bald by choice, like me. <laughs> All right, I shave my head. That's why my hair is short. The final one, Mr. E was not smelling here. This is called your armpit or underarm, by the way. That's not what he was smelling. When you go to the washroom, and boys and girls, I know we go to the washroom every day, sometimes you go number two, which is poo-poo. When you go poo-poo, you should wipe your bum. Sometimes people say, wipe your ass, and it means clean. You go poo-poo, clean it. So use paper and clean, or wash it. Clean. Clean your bum. Funny thing in English is, if you don't clean your bum, we... <laughs> sorry. People we don't like. Like a dirty bum. When you don't clean your bum, it's dirty and smelly and ugh, disgusting. Sometimes we call people we don't like ass wipes because they are dirty and disgusting and we don't like them very much. Don't be an ass wipe. Clean yourself, okay? Make sure you wipe your bum or your ass. Make sure you take showers regularly or at least a bath. Brush your teeth and floss. Don't forget to wash your face, okay? And remember the proper pronouns. I is for face, but we say my legs, my back, and chest for other parts of the body that we can see when we look. Cool? Good. I got to clean up, clean the board here. I've got to go. I think I need a shower. I'm a little ripe. Ripe means right now, smell a little. Have a great day, okay? Yeah. I forgot something before I cleaned the board. You let me do it. www.ing as in English vid as in video dot com oh here all right see that's right have a good one